What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about what Dogecoin has been doing in the last day or so, because a ton of you guys viewed my video that I made right when it ripped up through one penny for the first time in nearly two years, but since then, it's just been kind of bouncing around between that high near 1.5 cents and uh, that penny mark. So I wanted to do a little bit of technical analysis in case some of you guys are still holding your positions to explain what I think it's been doing and what I think you know this means in terms of the prospects of where this thing is going. So let's talk about that. Also, if you guys don't know where to buy this, you can buy it on Robinhood. I'll put my referral link in the description below so we both get a free stock if you sign up. So literally you, you, you sign up and you get a free stock literally just for signing up. So it's pretty cool. And uh, then you can buy Dogecoin on Robinhood for free without commissions. Now, something that I wanted to briefly mention is the fact that I recommend using limit orders on this because if you use a market order, this is how Robinhood makes their money uh, because they, they route your order to an outside order like filling party, if that makes sense. And because of that, they always end up screwing you just a little bit on the price. So limit order, you can say, I wanna buy this at no more than one penny and you'll get it for exactly one penny. But if you use a market order, you say, I wanna buy X amount of dollars worth of this at any price whatsoever. So they will end up giving you, even if it's trading at a penny, they'll give it to you for like 1.002 pennies. And that extra bit is what you end up overpaying just because you didn't use a limit order. So that's something that I wanted to briefly mention. Um, and now in terms of the chart also, uh, Robinhood's app is a little bit glitchy right now in terms of displaying the prices for Dogecoin. So once it got over penny, it stopped displaying the extra three digits. So because of that, you guys should definitely make sure you go to the Robinhood website. Again, I have it pulled up here on my computer. You guys can kind of see in the background. Um, but this gives you a way more in-depth look at the you know individual price movements. And without this, you're really just flying blind, man. I, I feel like you have absolutely no idea what is going on. So definitely pull it up if you're going to be trading it. Go to the website and. Again, I can drop that down below uh, just so you guys have access to that. So now let's go look at the charts on my computer so you guys can see what it's been doing in the last day and what I think it has the potential to do in the near future. So let's get into that right now. All right, guys, so I'm here at my computer and this is Robinhood Online. And I honestly didn't realize that they had an online platform until like yesterday. So I thought that... <coughs> I'm choking on myself there. I thought they were just an app, but apparently they're not. You know, they have... I guess they have a website. So that's pretty cool. It gives a little more functionality than just the app. So it's definitely something you want to look into. Now, this is my current position in Dogecoin. This is the entirety of my position. So for those of you who say I'm pumping this because I want to make a ton of money, listen, I make more than this every day. Uh, so the, I, I just, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're tripping, you're tripping dog. Um, I've been in and out of this. So that's why, I, that's why my total return is uh, definitely less than it is overall. Um, I just, I keep buying when I, I think the pattern looks good and I sell to manage my risk in case it drops down under. Now let's talk about this a little bit. So if you go on the Robinhood website, I want you to go to expand and then I want you to go up here and I want you to click on, instead of line, you wanna see candlesticks because this is actually gonna show you the information that's helpful to you. And I wanna explain why. So line graphs only go based off of, I, I forget if it's the opening or closing price. And that means whatever the price is when the hour mark closes um, or whatever the, uh, the division of time is. So in this case, you can see it's going by hour and uh, that's what it's going based off of. So every hour, whatever it is at the end of the hour, that's where it puts a little point on the graph. And this gives you very little information about how the stock or cryptocurrency is actually moving. So if you change it to candlesticks, this gives you a lot more information. A green candlestick is when it went up during that time period. A red candlestick is when it went down during that time period. And then these wicks, this is what it's called, um, that's not part of the body of the candle. This is all of the range during that time. So if we're looking here at just the line graph, it looks like this didn't make it up high at all. Uh, I mean, which is just not true at all. Because if you guys actually watched it, if you go back to candlesticks, you can see that this actually made it up all the way almost to 150, which is crazy. And I mean, this run was absolutely wild, man. It, it broke through one penny and just went all the way on up and almost hit 1.5. So like crazy run up after this consolidation here. Now, what I'm seeing now is a similar type of consolidation because you can see here, it rejected pretty hard and there was a lot of selling once it got up here. That's what this massive wick means. It means that it really did not stay up in this area for long and then it sold off a ton after that. Now, <clears throat> the price that we see here at the bottom, you can see L over on the left side of the screen is uh, 0 0.0083. 
And that is a very important number to me. Um, but honestly, I would say even a little bit more important than that is probably gonna be this 90 cent mark. And the reason for that is right now, this I keep wanting to say stock, but it's, it's a cryptocurrency. This currency is making higher lows. And that is a very good thing in terms of consolidation and looking forward to break through this high of 0 0.0148. And that's what we want to see if we want to test those all-time highs at, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is 0 0.0188. So um, I, I think just under 1.9 cents. So if we're going to push on past and see that, we definitely need to see this consolidation. And honestly, I'm liking what I'm seeing at this point because even though it looks like it, you know, it didn't get as high before, uh, so that might not be a good thing, the wicks of the candles tell us a different story because in this case, we can see the body of the candle is able to hold these price points um, that this candle was not able to hold. So this is only a wick, which means that it really was not able to hold these price points. Um, but in here, you can see that there's multiple uh, bodies of the candle that are fully above in this wick of the candle, which means that there was a lot more uh, time spent in these higher prices in this area, which means that even though today doesn't look that great, it actually is. And it bounced off of these lows, went higher, and had, a, had a, a very nice run, and then it came down, it rejected. And now at this point, we're right at the area where I personally believe it's turning around because it cracked this, uh, this penny area again, and you can see it was like it was trying to fail down here, but it bounced off a of 90 cents, man. It just absolutely rejected it. It had some massive green candles after that and uh, went right back up. And at this point, it looks like it's broken this downtrend. You know, you could draw a line. I wish I could on Robinhood, but it's, again, not a very good broker, um, except for the fact that it pioneered free trading and it, it has the ability to trade crypto as well. So I love that aspect about it. If you're trading stocks, it's not that great of a broker. Um, but anyways, if you drew a line here, this would be a very clean downtrend. Um, and you could draw one here too. But the fact that it rejected off of this, bounced back up, and now is you know starting to perk back up, I would say is a good thing. And this looks like consolidation to me. So what are the most important levels on this stock? I mean, you can see it, it's definitely uptrending at this point, um, it, on the live view at least. So what are the important levels on this stock? So for me, the most important levels I would say are this 90 cent area. I really wanna see this hold. And then after that, I really, really wanna see uh, this low here of, you know, I guess it's not 90 cents. It, I'm just gonna call it 90. This low of 90 and this low of 83 right here. So if this holds and this holds, I would say that's very good for continuing to see consolidation in these levels and then you know potentially getting a rip on past these highs and then a rip past on these highs. And I would say if this is able to rip past 148, it's going to test those all-time highs. I would be extremely confident. And if it tests the all-time highs, it'll probably have a sell-off, come back down to, I don't know, 140. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and then rip through those and you know easily bl blow through two cents. That would be my ultimate guess. And it could run all the way up to 2.5 cents if it's able to break out to all-time highs. And what is my reasoning on this? Now, I'm saying that because I'm seeing a lot of new things coming in about this stock. It's getting a lot of new coverage. Yeah, there you go. I guess this just updated. So now you can see this candle a little bit better. Um, so it's really starting to perk back up here and reverse that downtrend that was you know, a little bit scary for a while. So I was cutting in here because I wasn't sure where this was gonna fall. Uh, I wasn't sure if, if, if it was gonna break down below these areas of 0.83 because if it does that, you know that, that's a very bad sign for the continuing breakout of this stock. Now let me just pull up Google really quickly so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if I search Google for Dogecoin, you guys can see here it's on Yahoo Finance, it's on Bazinga, it's on it's on all this these different news sources. Um, we can actually see they're trying to blame the uh, the massive increase because some adult film star uh, was tweeting about it. Now I personally don't believe that one adult film star is going to have that much of an impact. You know, Elon Musk tweeted about it and it definitely perked it up um, a while back, and I think that's what started this whole run. Uh, but at this point, you know, the Bitcoin run is. Definitely gonna be continuing that hype. And I personally expect if we can hold these levels and then break out to all new highs, I would expect a lot of major news sources to start covering this. And by that, I mean bigger news sources like maybe CNBC, like all of those. Um, and if we start getting that, we're gonna get a lot more mainstream attention. And when that happens, I personally believe it can, uh, it can see a really big spike. So that is why I'm excited because the media hype is what really drives the growth of this coin. And I think it has the potential to do that. And based on the technical analysis of what it's doing right now, I think it looks pretty positive in terms of doing that. Now, if it rejects these levels 
and did uh, it's not able to break down past this. You know, it maybe it makes a lower high in this area. It tops out at uh, I don't know 0.35 or or 1.30. In that area, I guess 130, let's call it that for the, the sake of ease. And then it drops down below this and it makes a lower low. You know, it drops under 90 cents. All right, well, that's not so good anymore. You know, at that point, it doesn't really look that great. So I think we definitely need to wait and see at this point. It's not a guaranteed, wow, this is going to go crazy. But I think it still has the potential uh, to be setting up for a reversal of these rejections and continue on, break through this high of 148, rip through the all-time highs of 188, and, uh, you know, continue on upwards. So I'm definitely excited to see what happens. Again, I only have $200 in this right now, so... Even if I lost all of it, this is definitely not any type of life-changing money for me. Uh, but definitely make sure that you trade with caution on these because when it goes on these massive runs, it normally sees a massive sell-off. So if we get a big run-up and it breaks through, you know, whatever, be careful about chasing that because when it cracks, it is going to crack hard. And I think the pullback would be a better place to get in personally. So if you're not in now and, you know, you watch this video and it's able to perk back up, get through these levels, be careful about chasing because it definitely is going to be something that can pull back hard and you don't want to lose that hard earned money. Now, could this continue to tank? Absolutely. I'm not saying this is for sure going to spike. Again, if it breaks down under these levels of 0.83, that is not a good sign. And, uh, you know, I would be very hesitant to keep holding a large position at that point. There was actually someone I saw on Twitter who, oh my gosh, I'll put it up here. I forget what it is. It was something crazy, like a hundred thousand profit or something based off of, off of his position size. I mean, it was absolutely nuts. So I don't have anywhere near that amount of money invested in Dogecoin. Again, it's only $200, but I'm excited to see what it can do. You know, I enjoy riding hype trains. I rode this a while back when it was hyped up by TikTok. So I'm just excited to see what it does. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and make some money off of it as well. Definitely watch out for these key levels and be sure not to chase. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you don't have this app already, download it below with my referral link. We'll both get a free stock and uh, you'll be able to buy it for free. Just make sure to use those limit orders so you don't get screwed over by the market orders. And uh, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Probably doing another update on this um, if it's able to continue to break out because, you know, it very well might. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, let's grow better together. Pesar tu boca si te despiertas Mi tiempo también es tuyo porque me inspiras Solo quiero que seas la única que así me mira